Grazie, cari amici. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Buongiorno. Thank you, Tony, for that kind introduction uh, and to your leadership uh, and uh, your wonderful hosting job this afternoon. I want to offer my own thanks as well to Sergio Marcioni for being here today and for lending his name to both this wonderful pranzo and to this important cause. Born in Chieti, educated here in Canada and now working for Fiat Chrysler in the UK, Sergio has the unique distinction of being one of Canada's best imports and best exports. Thank you, Sergio, for being here today. And I'm very glad that I could be here today as well, especially alongside my colleagues, Julia, Ju Judy, Marco, Francesco, and Michael, who work hard every day in their communities and up in Ottawa, where they make sure that the concerns of Italian Canadians are always on our government's radar. The relationship between Canada and Italy is a very special one. I was very glad to have the opportunity to sit down and catch up with Prime Minister Gentiloni when he visited Ottawa last month. I think one of the reasons we felt such an immediate rapport is because our citizens have so much in common. Canada is home to just over 35 million Canadians, one and a half million of whom identify as Italian Canadian. And as our history sh has shown, and as today's event proves, when Italians have made the difficult choice to leave their homeland and settle here, we have always been the better for it. To see the Italian-Canadian community come together to support those still attempting to recover from last year's brutal earthquakes in central Italy is inspiring. It speaks to the very values that Italians and Canadians share. The importance of family, of staying connected to our roots, of appreciating our own good fortune and giving back to our communities, of taking care of our neighbors, whether they're right next door or an ocean away. And that's why I'm happy not only to be able to celebrate the success of the Italy Earthquake Relief Fund, but to announce the Government of Canada's intention to match your donations for this cause. We, the Government of Canada will provide up to $2 million in matching funds. Which will, of course, double the amount we can all give towards earthquake relief. But the final amount is up to all of you. Aujourd'hui, je suis heureux d'annoncer que le gouvernement du Canada entend doubler les contributions amassées pour les fonds d'aide au séisme en Italie. Nous sommes prêts à fournir jusqu'à 2 millions de dollars en fonds de fonds en contrepartie. Cela aura pour effet de doubler le montant que nous pouvons tous donner pour soutenir cette cause. And contributions are, as you all well know, greatly needed. We are proud to support the Italian Red Cross and its partner charities, including those operated by the Vatican, in their efforts to provide essential, often life-saving, care to earthquake survivors. I'm also looking forward to seeing the rebuilding efforts up close and to meeting the people of Lazio and the surrounding regions when I make a visit to Amatrice later this month. I'll be in Italy for a formal state visit, and I'm very much looking forward to having a number of you join me on that trip as part of a business delegation organized by the Italian Chambers of Commerce of Canada, and I want to be sure to make time to visit the area that has been hit so hard by earthquakes in recent months. To let our friends there know that they are not alone. To show that Canada is with them, standing alongside them, ready to help as they rebuild their communities and their lives. 
because that's what friends do. Thank you once again for being here, for being generous, and for giving me the opportunity to share this meal with all of you. Grazie.